Hey guys, good morning. It's about 11.30. We've had an early, early start to the morning. And it was kind of a rough start just in general for me at least. I'm just feeling a little sorry for myself today. Um, I shouldn't. I'm very blessed and just in general shouldn't feel sorry for myself. But I think everyone has those days where they're just not, in, not just feeling blah, but just like woe is me type of thing, you know? So... Yeah, that's me today. I feel like Eeyore, like, oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I am editing a video for my beauty channel. It's a Pinch Me unboxing, which is a free subscription service for like sample products and stuff, and it's legitimately free. Um, so I will have that link down below of the video if you're interested in it. It should be up. Yeah, I don't know if it'll be up by the time you guys watch this, but if you don't check out my beauty channel, check it out because I also uploaded the getting ready with me from the wedding the other day plus my outfit um, and I will be filming my tour at haul and I just I want to get back my goal is to get back at my beauty channel I think I'm going to do an upload schedule of Monday and Thursday so if you have any video requests for my beauty channel leave that in the comments down below as well because I know a lot of you don't watch my beauty channel you don't know that I have a beauty channel nor are you interested you just like kind of lifestyle videos and vlogs and that's totally fine I'm all for that. I mean, my vlogs get more views than some of my beauty videos, so like that is fine with me. Um, but if you are interested in beauty, makeup related stuff, um, get ready with me's outfit of the days, reviews, tutorials, just different things, I always have my beauty channel link down in the comments or in the more info box below. So my goal is to be on a Monday Thursday schedule for that, like I said, and so far. I have two videos. This week has been good. So now I just need to get a video over the weekend for Monday. And that's kind of my goal is to film on the weekends. My two videos for the week. I'm not going to even try and like get ahead of myself. That's what I was doing wrong in the beginning of the year. Like I was trying to schedule out all of these videos and it just wasn't working. None of them were getting posted. And so my goal now is just every weekend film two videos. And then that'll be my videos for the week. Whether it be a getting ready with me, a favorites video an unboxing, um, a review, products I've used up, whatever the case may be. So eight videos a month, I think that is entirely doable. Probably one of them will be my monthly favorites. I want to do Where Are They Now because I did monthly favorites way back when and I have been doing YouTube for six years now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, six years. That's ridiculous. But a seven has it been seven? Oh my gosh i started in may of 2010 and i've been doing favorites videos pretty much ever since and so i'd like to revisit some of my old favorites to see if i still have it if i like it what i'm using in place of it and stuff like that miss gold girl created that and i think it's a great idea and then i'll probably do like one monthly outfit of the day one monthly haul one monthly um get ready with me you know just different things to kind of spread out over the Eight videos per month but I think it's doable I upload a ton here on my vlog channel and I'd really like my my beauty channel is my first baby like it was my first obsession and I just want to get back to it so anyway I'm testing a theory today I'm using the spectra s2 all day today I told you guys yesterday when I was boohooing about my <laughs> breastfeeding woes um, or my no longer breastfeeding woes that I kind of had been switching back and forth depending on which one was convenient and I'm doing a comparison today using the Spectra Us 2 all day. And tomorrow I will use the Medela all day and kind of uh, save the milk in the fridge and see which one I get more from. I'm going to pump at the same times and I'm going to try really hard at least to compare as best I can. So we'll see. Autumn is upstairs in her pack and play for a nap, which is very rare for us because for me during the day. Because typically I will hold her or let her sleep in her swing or down like on the floor on her little mat there if she falls asleep I'll let her sleep there but this is the first time that I've actually wrapped her and put her upstairs for a nap and left her there <laughs> of course I have her on the monitor here and so she's actually still kind of moving around and so I can watch her and I can hear her and everything but this is the first time like I said that I've actually just left her there when it's just been me she sleeps there at night we put her down for the night around seven eight o'clock sometimes nine and just wake her up at w when she wakes up throughout the night to feed her that's you know works out perfectly fine but 
this is a first for me and it feels weird but it gives me a sense of like being able to do something for myself like I got to edit a video and just different things so anywho and it's about lunchtime <laughs> so I'm going to go about my day and check in in a bit this is how we're laying on the couch because little Missy over here does not want to lay in her swing she actually lasted about two hours upstairs taking a nap in her pack and play which works out great for me because I designed a Christmas sticker design. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I don't know if I, I don't even know if I mentioned this in yesterday's vlog. I got out my Halloween kits and my Thanksgiving kit. I'll have a link. I'm also having a sale, 30% off flash sale through the weekend. Um, so I will link that code below, like at the bottom of the screen and down in the bottom bar with my link to my HKD design shop. So if you're interested, you can check it out. But anywho, I got that up. So now I'm working on Christmas because people have had their Christmas kits out since July, I swear. August for sure. I started seeing Christmas kits and I'm a little behind in the game because I was busy having a baby. <laughs> so I'm still going to create a couple of Christmas designs. I have a Christmas countdown that I already did, a couple of new weekly kits that I just need Andres to take pictures of, so I'm hoping to get those up in the next couple of days before the sale's over for sure, because I know holiday kits can be a little overwhelming and expensive, and so I kind of want you guys to be able to get them at a good price. So, um, I did, I was able to finish planning for the week. I used a Boulder Bond kit that I really like, which it's already Wednesday, but we have a lot of stuff like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so I wanted to make sure I could keep track of it. Plus, I have a lot on my to-do list that is just a bunch of clerical work and stuff. So, um, yeah, I needed to do that, and I got that done. And I printed and cut some stickers, so I got that done. And then she woke up, so I needed to feed her. And I put her in her swing, and she just wasn't having it. So, now we're cuddling. <laughs> ah, mama. We cuddling. And I used to lay Maddie like this all the time. Actually, I used to lay Emmy like this too when we first, first got her. She was really teeny tiny and I just would lay on the couch comfortably and then lay them kind of like on my body. Not necessarily like in between my breasts, which is how I would do infant, infant, like new, super newborn with Maddie and Autumn. But this... <laughs> She's just cozy and chilling, and I know that she won't fall off. Like, accidentally, she's not going to roll off or anything like that because she's kind of nooked into me. I just got off the phone with Andres. Um, he had kind of a crappy day at work today. He had um, some run-ins with some of the employees there, but I don't know. He's on his way home, and he's going to go get Emmy. I love when he has, like, early days, so he goes in early and he gets out early because... Then I don't have to pack up Autumn and go get Emmy. It's so much easier for me. And tonight for dinner, we're going to have taco soup or chili, whichever you want to look at it. Um, that I had the frozen meal that we had done maybe a month ago, three or four weeks ago. I had that thawing out on the counter. And that's what we're having for dinner. And I think Andres is going to finish up his Halloween decorations today. Better late than never. We still have two weeks, a week and a half till Halloween. So hopefully he does that. And if so, I'll get some good footage there. And I meant to tell you guys too, I'm finally uploading, by the time you watch this, you should have already seen it, the girls' nighttime routine. So keep in mind, and I did preface that in the video, or like on the description area, that it was when I was pregnant. So I had no idea I was having a girl. I had no idea we were having Autumn. And I hadn't cut Emmy's hair yet. I mean, it was filmed back in June. And I just forgot to upload it. And it's still completely relevant. And I mentioned this in the video too. Our routine literally has not changed since we've had Autumn. I thought things would be so different with the third child. And they're not. I mean, things in general are different. You know, how we pack up for the day and stuff. Just having a baby all over again. But our nighttime routine has not changed one bit. We just include Autumn in it and go about the exact same routine that we did before we had autumn bath time is the same we just added a child and brushing teeth is the same autumn doesn't have teeth yeah, that's pretty much it she sings with us um you know so nothing has really changed so i felt like it was still relevant enough even though things have kind of changed in general in our lives 
it was relevant enough still to show you guys. So hopefully y'all enjoyed that. It's been a rough afternoon. <laughs> I feel like that's been the theme of the day. Making dinner, I told you guys we're having the taco soup. Literally all I did was just, oh, it's boiling. All I did was just um, let it thaw out a little bit on the stove. Probably, I don't know, three or four hours just out and it was still kind of frozen dumped it in a pan now I'm heating it through letting it simmer and that'll be dinner that's the beauty of cooking ahead of time and this is actually really great like the girls love it it has a lot of vegetables in it turkey good for you ingredients and I'm gonna have a salad on the side I wish I had like spinach or mixed greens but I just have regular garden salad so we're gonna do this and I'm having an afternoon coffee because I have not had coffee my entire, I didn't have coffee my entire pregnancy and I have not had coffee since I've had autumn. Today is the first day. Cheers! <laughs> because I definitely need an afternoon coffee. I'm tired. And you know, to be honest, she just has been real fussy since she woke up. So... Andres ended up taking her with him to go get Maddie just to give me a little bit of a break. I just, I want to pick her up so bad when she's screaming and I know it's just because she wants to be held and I have to get stuff done. So he took her for a car ride. Hopefully that helps and she's fine when she gets back. So anywho, we're going to do that and I think I'm going to make some blueberry muffins later today. I've had this mix for a little while. I thought I would go ahead and, um, make them they're just the quick and easy kind the add milk and I think I have some frozen blueberries in there so that's what we're gonna do today <laughs> I'm tired but this coffee is actually really good it's a k-cup vanilla biscotti they had it for um, the holidays last year I think last year yeah we just had a bunch left over and then it has some sugar free so coffee has essentially zero calories you know I guess depending on which kind you drink but that and then a uh, coffee mate sugar free peppermint mocha. So, this is what I used. And the reason I used this is because it only has 15 calories, although it does use actually, it doesn't say that it uses aspartame. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should just use the regular stuff, but I use that with caffeine, of course. So, blueberry muffins, I went ahead and added the milk that it called for and threw in some dried blueberries. And I'm going to stir that up and see how it looks and then pop it in the oven. I have mini muffin tins and um, big muffins. So I think I'm going to make big muffins, I think. I made myself a salad for dinner. Yeah. So I just used some iceberg lettuce, some light ranch. I have almonds, some dried cherries, and croutons. <laughs> and the girls got... We're actually using these actually to mix it. But we're still eating. Hey, hey, spoon, please. Uh uh, excuse me. Madeline, put your fork down and use your spoon, please. I want to mix it. Okay, you mix it and then you use your spoon to eat. You hear mommy? No. Thank you. They have chili and salad and some water. Maddie requested that I record her brushing teeth. <laughs> Weirdo. Oh, thanks for sharing. Okay. Maddie. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, mother. Hey, what about what about little sissy? Good night, see you tomorrow. I am already so exhausted. <laughs> Adam looks like a little caterpillar. Oh, I don't think, I mean, there you go. Lifting up her legs in her swaddle blanket. She's too funny. She took her first five ounce bottle. Five ounces, you guys. Like, my poor breast would never have been able to keep up with this child. She eats so much. So much. <laughs> it's crazy. We go through, like, we just went through a can of, like, the big can of formula in, like, three weeks. That seems like a lot. 
That was random. I don't know. It just seems like a lot. Maybe it's just me. But anywho, um, I don't want to do look at these dishes <laughs> from dinner tonight and the muffins. This is how the muffins turned out. I used two things of batter, and so I thought they were going to be huge because I only got, let's see, three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12 of them out of that, out of the two things of batter. So I thought they were going to be like the big fluffy muffins. They weren't. I don't feel like doing the dishes. Andres is at swim class. He should be home here in the next probably 20 minutes. And I just don't feel like doing anything. I just got the video edited and uploaded. I got the girls routine up. I told you guys that. I edited my beauty video for tomorrow and scheduled that to upload tomorrow. And um, what else? I wanted to do weight loss Wednesday. But this is how I look. Do you see how I look? It didn't happen today. Maybe I'll film it tomorrow. Oh, so I think I'm done for the day. I'm just going to relax, cut some more stickers. I've kind of left out my silhouettes and everything to keep cutting. Sneak peek at a new Christmas countdown design. Sneak peek at a fall kit. I'm on a roll. And that's how I plan on keeping it. I may have to go back to work a couple weeks earlier than I expected. And because of that, I want to make sure I'm well stocked and all my orders are out. You know, th that type of thing. Like, I want to keep up with everything. I don't want to fall behind. So that's what I've been trying to do the last couple days. And I plan on trying to continue that. Tomorrow, Emmy has her school field trip to um, Divine Acres Farm. I haven't decided whether I'm going to be able to go or not. I went, I chaperoned her kindergarten field trip. And I wanted to chaperone all of their field trips ever in life. But unfortunately, I don't know if Andres is going to be able to get off tomorrow. And I don't think I would be okay with Autumn by myself in a place like that. I know it's hilly and we have a jogger stroller so it should be okay. But I don't know for a fact. And so I don't know if it'll be. Plus it's an hour drive away from us. And I just don't know if I will be comfortable enough to go by myself so i'm gonna have to talk to him more about it it makes me really sad but next year i guess i don't know we'll see and then friday she has bike rodeo <laughs> so that child is just keeping us busy then saturday and sunday we have swim class we have a birthday party on saturday and a pumpkin painting party on sunday so they're just busy busy girls the next few days so i'm just gonna have to get my crap together and wash my hair it's been a little too long so Anywho, I'm rambling, I'm tired, I'm gonna relax, have some me time before Autumn wakes up again and Andres gets home and before I have to go to bed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!